presenting uh, live is always uh, really a challenge because uh, technology is a lot of interference in, in a place like this. But it's also getting from A to C, basically, right? And I've been running, so if I'm sweating, I apologize for it. But I have the pleasure to talk to uh, Jasper here from SAI, or SAI, or yeah. what do you call it? SA International. SA yes. International. And um, you're going to give us a little demo because you have a new release, right? Yes, we uh, are releasing our new product uh, called uh, Flexi22. Um, we are offering new uh, improvements, new features for the sign and print industry. So and just before we, for the people that don't know your software, what, what is it all about? Uh, Flexi, we are offering uh, SAI Flexi. It's a, a total solution for sign and print. Uh, providers, let's say, a uh, solution for printing cuts. We have printing, we have cutting, uh, direct to vinyl cutting, we can do color management as well. Uh, and now we are also uh, releasing some uh, features for the DTF market, so direct to film and uh, da uh, direct to garment. Uh, market. It must be a so it must be a fantastic a, yes. place to be in for you right now, of right? Course, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So we uh, have a lot of uh, manufacturers uh, that we can work uh, together with. We have uh, more than 2,000 uh, printing drivers and Whoa. cutting drivers. So if you see something uh, printed, it's most, most likely, yeah, most uh, likely you, printed yeah. by us. Yeah, okay. Yes. So um, if you look at it from a let's say uh, from a development perspective. So what is the biggest challenge of what you do is, I mean, sh share a little bit of the insights here. Yes, of course we want to have the competition. Yeah. Uh, so we have to see what are the trends in the market. Uh, for now we see a growing market in the DTF uh, uh, world, let's say. Uh, so we have to make a feature for the DTF. So now we bring with Flexi22 a nice, uh, nice feature for the DTF market. So we are very happy to uh, announce uh, that and hopefully we can make the customers happy with the new features. I was just thinking that when you have like anything that is on textile and you and you create cotton patterns and all these kind of things, it must be very important that everything is sturdy and put in place, right? Because otherwise all the calculations just go wrong, right? Yes, so we have either also a flexi designer part where we can nest jobs, we have the production manager where we can load in files so we can nest together all the files uh, at the cutting mark so we can send the printing job to the printer send the cutting job to the cutter in a few clicks so very user-friendly software so do you want to show us the software or yes. should we just talk about it yes of course so i can show you a little demonstration i would just sit down here and, and see yes mm -hmm. so now what i opened here is the production manager where we have uh, all jobs sorted so we can import jobs uh, PDF files, the files. Uh, it's a typical PDF, files. typical PDF files. Yeah, people are using also in the in the textile and garment and yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So we also have a solution with the full design suit. So if people want to start from scratch, uh, making drawing vector logos, text to to for example direct cuts, uh, cut out letters and such, we have uh, the design suit. As well, we have a nice print and cut solution here. So for example. I import a file. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have a little, little TV kitchen here, right? So we have uh, things prepared, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> of course. So now I import a vector file mm -hmm. and we can easily add a counter cut Sorry, mark. did you know that I was coming since you're pulling up the beer house? Yes, or, yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> we also have the beer here at the booth. So oh, yes, Belgian beer. So. Chica, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so we can easily make a print and cut file. Afterwards, we can send the file to the production manager. So we either is that there for like proofing or for just to, yes. to, to keep in the production manager? We want to make the print and cut complete. So we uh, make the color management. We can uh, make the marks, the copies, and such. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a lot. You can do a lot with the software. Uh, but for now, maybe I can show a small uh, demonstration of the DTF. Please. Mm -hmm. So we showing we have a new feature in Flexi 22. So I will import this uh, T-shirt uh, JPEG. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a black uh, background, mm -hmm. and we want to remove it for printing. Mm -hmm. So we can easily select create transparent background, click the background. 
add some tolerance to make it more yeah clean yeah and is this uh, is that typical when designers they work they they put in the background and in order to make sure that when you print it correctly then you make that transparent yes space, yes right? so we can remove the whole background mm -hmm. and if we add so you see the black parts are removed yeah also DTF is white printing so we can easily change the color mode here and change change the white um, uh, option yeah so variable under for example and yeah. it will if you go to the output channel preview you yeah. can already see how the ah. data is generated yeah, yeah. so for the white part you'll see uh, it will make a variable white under layer yeah so if and you when send you, this and to when the you printer send, yeah because i'm sorry to interrupt so yes. basically when you send that to the printer uh, the sequence of the layers it automatically understands yes right? yeah. yes okay. mm -hmm. So this is one of our new features. Mm -hmm. So and how is the competition when you look at these kind of features? I mean, yeah. is that something that is relatively unique to you guys? Or um, before we had to use uh, the design package. So either uh, our designer. So you have to import the file, make sure you delete the background. So make the file print ready in the designer. Now it's even more easy. The customer can just open the production manager, import the file, uh, make the background transparent add the white layer and send to the printer. So, so in a few steps you just skip more working time. So it's about in increased productivity yes. as with everything. Yeah, right? yeah. So um, so this feature is that this brand new here uh, on FSPO? Yes. Yeah. So it's the uh, first time we're showing this. We will release uh, 22nd of June uh, Flexi 22. Uh, for all our subscribers of course the upgrades will be free, so people who are using now Flexi 21 can upgrade their license for free and get uh, these features. To yeah. get these features, yeah. and as have well. anything else uh, in, in in work? Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, of course. Also, with Flexi 22, we are launching our new um, production dashboard called SCI Connect. Here, you can log in with your cloud account, and you will see all your media usage, all the jobs you're printing with the production manager, and so on. Uh, as well, you can see so all your is, licenses. So is it basically reading uh, data from the equipment? Or? Yes, yeah. it will read uh, the ink usage of your job, uh, how many ink dots you're using, and it will make a calculation and show you uh, how much ink you're using, or you can see how many uh, square meters you're printing, which machine is uh, printing more, and, and so on. So you can really uh, manage your production manager. Mm -hmm. As well, you can uh, manage your applications, so you can see if there's a new update available and you can then just make the update uh, or the upgrade uh, via the SAI Connect dashboard. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go to the website again, SAI Cloud, log in and so on. We have collected everything in one production dashboard called SAI Connect. So this is also a new uh, add-on we add to the Flexi 22 package. And when uh, when I see the software, it looks uh, looks nice, the user interface. It also looks uh, very easy to use. Uh, uh, when you look at, at the market, because I mean, uh, the, I call it the FESPA market, you, yes. you know, the signage, the, the garments, the decor, all these kind of things. It's been um, in the market for some time, but I think that it's also been a market that is maturing when it comes to software, comes to automation. Yeah. You know, the old time it was just making a, a, a banner or a sign, yes. but kind of getting more complex, right? Yes. So as a company, do you also see there is a, a growing demand for more technology to support people's business? Yes. So our development team and we as a support team, we try to get in close contact with our end users as well to see what is what is living in the print, sign and print market. Uh, for some customers, we even made an extra feature, for example, to especially make their business better. Oh, so you can make customized development as well? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So if there is a demand and we're like, okay, this is a good feature for this uh, sign shop and we, he really wants it, we can take a look, we have a talk, we sit around the table and see what, what, we, uh, what we can uh, 
them. Make for them. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. I was just thinking, um, one of the things I've seen, I, I, my background is more in the commercial workspace, also when it comes to automation. I was just thinking that one of the, the trends that has been in, in the commercial uh, print space for years has been uh, uh, APIs and integration to other systems. Is that also something that you see here? Uh, no, we are more uh, standalone okay. uh, software. Mm -hmm. So we're more focusing on the smaller sign shops. Okay. So we have a very easy use software. We also have the designer part, mm. which a lot of competitors not have. They rely to uh, third party uh, design software. So we have the full package for uh, starting to uh, medium sign shop. Uh, market let's yeah. say so basically um, so basically if I want to start like a, a small shop or medium-sized shop with yes. a, less like a large form of printer it could be on vinyl it could be on uh, banners it could yes. be on textile yes this is a good starting point yes of yeah. course yeah. you can add easily your printing devices you don't have to uh, pay an extra amount for your uh, if you buy a new printer for example you're like oh it's a new printer maybe uh, I have to pay a price for this driver no the drivers are available in Flexi 22. So, as well with Flexi 22, there are a few uh, manufacturers that are launching new uh, printer models, mm -hmm. and we try to get them in the version. Mm. Is it difficult, or is it easy enough? Or that's a question for the development team. Okay, okay. We have to, of course, have some uh, time to test the drivers, but uh, we have close contact with the manufacturers. They're happy with our software. It's a good solution. Mm. Um, Yes. And I mean, if you don't have the right software, you cannot be as efficient and as productive as you want to be, right? So yes. it is a matter of always being uh, almost on time with all the development of the hardware side. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So we, we talked about this and then I interrupted you. So yeah. this is basically, you know, take it away from here because i sorry that I No, that's you. fine. Yeah. It's because I'm curious, I tell you. Yes, so <laughs> this is a, a quick example of a print and cut shop. So I import a file, you can do adjustments, like imagine I want to change the orange color Ah, so you can easily uh, do that. Yeah. Uh, and then I change it again. Also this orange. And that basically means that you don't have to go into Illustrator to do the things that no. you would normally do, right? No. So yeah. this is a bit of... You can compare it with an Illustrator. It's a vector and bitmap editing tool. So you can also edit bitmaps. You can edit vectors. You can vectorize stuff. Um, you can easily create print and cut shops. So we have now only the print shop because we don't have a cut contour, but we can easily add a contour cut around it. You can define... Is that automated, this one? or was yes. it Okay, so it's, it's not part of the file, basically. No, it's not part so of the file. You, so you set basically some uh, some uh, distance to the artwork, yeah. and then you... Uh, Here we can oh, okay, uh, set the distance, yeah. for example, one centimeter. Mm. Okay, we apply this. We select the file, and if you go to the rip and print, that's where you do the nesting or uh, yeah you yeah. can do nesting you can make copies yeah and yeah, it yeah. will it's the communication between the editor and the production manager yeah. so if I send this now to yeah. my in this case our latex 800w it's just over there like with the HP booth right yeah <laughs> but it's not <laughs> they, like they will be quite surprised if suddenly they come yes. out beer labels right <laughs> so in this case we make the print shop but also it's linked to a suma to a cutting device mm -hmm. it will show you the cutting okay. already the cutting settings okay. so if i now press end it will split the job it will send the print job and it will send the cut shop uh, to our cutting queue in the production manager i can show you that's quite smart isn't it it's very yes if and there is no limitation on designing so we don't have uh, a border limitation so if you want to work on a full scale for example for car wrapping or such you, you just have that model. Well, yeah. yes yeah yes fantastic so, um, what is the next step? I mean, what are the demands from the customers right now? Is that uh, even more of these kind of tools, or what do you think the next step will be? Um, Without being, uh, you don't have to tell any secrets. I'm just, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we also launched, for example, this designer part for the Mac. Huh? So, our software is currently only running on uh, Windows operating systems, but for the designer part, we also have a Mac edition. So, we can target our Mac users that are familiar with Flexi. They're like, oh, I have a Mac. Can I, can I design on my Mac with Flexi? Now we have the solution can, right? yeah, in yeah. the subscription. Yeah. And with the Mac version, we can send over the network to a production manager of Windows. Ah, okay, so, so they can platform dependent. Basically. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
that was the demand of a lot of customers. So yeah. we we make make made it possible yeah, yeah. Uh, for that market. Uh, of course, new printing machines. Can we run it? So we try to keep. Uh, yeah, it's also because I mean when I see the printing machines, I mean uh, they go faster, or they go wider. So I mean the the, the processing needed from uh, software just needs to increase with the the need from yeah. the, the, the customer. So yes. uh, so uh, with the previous release, we had uh, 32 bit software. Now our RIP software is 64 bits, so it should be. Faster, it goes faster. Is it faster? Speed. Yes, it is faster. Okay, of course, it should be. So I was. It just should be. Yes. <laughs> if and it, of and course, is, if, yeah. the, if the P, the PC of the customer Can run 64 yes, bits, of yes. course. Yeah, fantastic. So we try to. Yeah. That's great. That's keep, great. Keep, you know. Yeah. The track. Fantastic. Anything else you want to on the last minute here or? Um, so Flexi 22 releasing in. June twenty second, so twenty second, as part of the uh, of the subscription. So just you renew your subscription, you get all these, these wonderful things. Right? Yes, yes. So Chica, what do you think? I mean, we I mean we just got a p- fantastic presentation here from Jasper. Thank you very much, Jasper. And um, before we switch to uh, Jan, who is now uh, el- somewhere else, I can't remember the program right now. Uh, let's put on the, the, the our little uh, local jingle here for a few minutes, so uh, Chica and I can discuss what to do next. <laughs>